hello everyone you're welcome back to the channel and in this particular video i'm going to show you the easiest way to add a scrolling lower third on your obs software just like this you're seeing right here on the screen and the best part is it doesn't consume your system cpu now you can be able to add this to display the informations of your live stream maybe for your service or for your church or for your gaming information or even add your social media information below the screen there as a scrolling so a lot of people can see and also follow you on your various social media platform while you're doing your live stream okay so this is what i'm going to show you in this particular video and you can be able to do this without any plugin at all on the obs software Now we are going to be creating this using the Vimy software, okay? So this is the Vimy software, that is what we are going to use to create the scrolling lower third. So if you haven't installed Vimy's or you don't know how to use Vimy's, go ahead. I'm also going to drop the Vimy's playlist on the description of this video so you can go ahead and watch it and learn how you can be able to use the Vimy software. So let's go ahead and open this Vimy software. And you can do this with any version of Vimy software at all. Like I'm currently using the Vimy's 26, so you can do it with any version of Vimy software. Okay, so from here on the Vimy software, so click on the add input here and once it pops up, go over to colors. Okay, so this color here, click on the color. After you've clicked on the add input, this window here will pop up and click on the color here. And once you click on the color, see the color sign there, this color, not black, not the color bar, not the transparent. Click on this color bar here, click on that and then select green. Okay, so select the green screen. So select that and once you're done click on ok this ok here then once you already click on ok click on this ok again down here and this is the green here on the screen so you see the green appear on the screen now once you've already done this this is the first step click on the add input again this here click on the add input again and then go over to titles okay so go over to title here and once you're on the title go over to um gt ticker okay so go over to GT ticker here and you're going to see the list of all the GT tickers. Okay. So I've also done a video on how you can be able to create your own custom GT ticker that's the scrolling on the Vimy software. So I'm also going to drop that playlist on the description of this video. So you can go ahead and watch it and can be able to use that and create your own custom scrolling lower third. Okay. Select the particular one that you want to make use of. I'm going to use this one and click on OK. Okay. So this is how it's going to look like. You see, this is how it's going to look like. Here you have the headline and you also have the ticker. And the headline is the one at the top and then the ticker is the one scrolling. And you just type in what you want to use. So I can just put service. Let's say for example, service update. I'm using it for a church. Okay, so put service update here. And then go over to the ticker and type in every all the information that you want to display on the screen okay so type in all the information that you want to display on the screen and once you're done close this window okay close this window and use any of the number one two three four to bring it in on the screen i'm going to use four you can use one you can use two bring it in on the screen i'm going to restart it and this is it here scrolling now click on this record button here on vmis this record button here click on that and go ahead and record it i'm going to allow the information to scroll from the beginning all the way to the end the first time and also from beginning all the way to the end the second time now after the second time you can go ahead and save your recording okay so allow it to scroll twice after the first one and then after the second one before you go ahead and save your recording so just go ahead and save the recording okay save that this already saved the recording open your obs software here and once you already open your obs software Click on the add input here. This is the plus sign you're seeing here. Click on the add input and then go over to media source. This media source here. Click on the media source. Let's give this one a name. Now see the local file here. Just click on browse and then find out the folder where you've already saved your VMIS recording. That's the recording we just did on VMIS. To find out, click on this and open. Once you click on open, make sure this loop button here is turned on. This loop here. Make sure this loop here is turned on. It's very very important go ahead and click on ok on the media source you already brought in on the screen right click on it then go over to filters okay see the filters here over to filters and then let me just reduce this size a bit 
on the effect filters click on the add button there then select this um, chroma key see the chroma key here select chroma key select ok and this will erase the background for you close this and this is how it's going to look like you see this is going to look like so while you're doing your live stream and this is how it's going to look like finally while you're doing your live stream your information is scrolling there on the screen and people will be able to see everything and if you want to create a custom gt title maybe gt scroller on the vimi software i've also done a video on that so i'll leave the link in the description of this particular one so you can go ahead and watch it and also learn how you can be able to do this for yourself if you find the video helpful consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't and also turn on the notification bell see you on the next one